coach. When you play a, uh, a type of club like Louisville who doesn't beat themselves and uh, can really defend, they don't make any mistakes, and they, they, they get about four or five guys in the lineup that can really turn you over with speed and uh, create some chaos for you. Uh, you know, we weren't able to execute and play a clean game. Uh, you know, no offense to Danny, we didn't get a great start today from Danny, and, and, and obviously you need a you need a, a quality start to obviously beat them. Uh, Witt came up with some big hits and uh, gave us an opportunity later on in the game, but um, you know we're, we're you know we're limited on the mound right now with uh, pitching depth because Ridgely being out, so um, it, it kind of shortens up your pen a little bit and. Uh, but they put some quality swings on the ball, and we got ourselves back into it. I like the way we battled, and and um, if you're going to go down, I think you're going to go down making sure they use some of their main guys out of the pen. And Bordner had to throw three and a third, which is, uh, you know, I mean, we, we we fought, we 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 created some chaos, we put some runners on the bases, we just didn't get enough enough good at quality at bats. Open up for the players now. <coughs> Adam, you uh, had a, the, the grand slam and the two RBI triple. What did what, what help you swing, uh, swing the bat so well today? Uh, you know, I was just going up there and trying to calm down, trying to slow my feet down and uh, see the ball better, see it deep. And uh, I was just going through what coach tells me every day at practice to slow down and see the ball deep. What was it like for you to see that ball clear the fence? Uh, it was pretty amazing. Uh, it was just like something you dream of as a kid, but. We still had a lot of game left to play, so I knew it wasn't over yet. And uh, just our team uh, battled really hard today. Danny, when he, when he ties up 6-6, six, six, you're here you are sixth inning in the four seed. You're tied in the sixth inning with the one seed. What, what was kind of the, uh, the mood of the, how did the kind of the mood on the bench change either you know, after when you, all of a sudden you're tied up there? Yeah, I mean, it's a great feeling, obviously. Uh, it just reassures you that you can beat anybody on any day. And um, unfortunately, we just didn't put together those at-bats all, all nine. Adam, were you surprised they uh, let McClure pitch to you after the Grand Slam? Uh, no, I mean, he's a great pitcher, so I knew he was probably gunning for me again on the second at bat. But uh, um, yeah, I just saw the ball deep and everything. Danny, what kind of stuff usually works for you that maybe wasn't quite there today? I mean, just fastball control. Uh, just fastball control. I mean, um, I got behind a lot of batters. I didn't throw a lot of first pitch strikes, and if you don't have fastball command, then you know it makes your off speed pitches, um, you know, obsolete. So, I mean, they're great hitters. They weren't going to get themselves out, and uh, you know, unfortunately, I didn't make enough pitches. What was kind of your mindset going into today, knowing that you know Zach was out, and you'd have to start starting Saturday. You'd have to start from the opener against Louisville. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the opportunity. I mean, I'm a competitor. Um, I knew I had to make pitches, and like I said, unfortunately, I didn't. Anything else for the players? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll bring it back up for Coach. Joe, what kind of stuff did Gerber have uh, as the game wore on? Fastball and an EFIS pitch. Uh, yeah, fastball changeup. And uh, obviously, he got beat on his changeup, which was his best pitch. He just elevated a ball that, that uh, when, when he makes a mistake with his changeup and elevates it, it's going to get hit out of the park, and that's what happened. Uh, I don't even know the kid that hit it out, but uh, it was an elevated pitch, and we, you know, we, we try to get it down in the zone. But he, he's one of those guys that can affect your timing, uh, and he only throws 82, 84 miles an hour, but he can affect your timing because of the plus changeup that he has. Joe, you're down six nothing, and it looks like it could be a disastrous night. And where does the resiliency come from uh, facing a team such as Louisville to battle back into the game? Well, I mean, if you really look at it, uh, the resiliency came from McClure. He, he, he loaded up the bases, had a couple hit-by-pitches, he got behind, and uh, there obviously could have been a, a bigger inning in, inside of that, that inning. He got to 2-0 on both Horowitz and, um, and Herbeck, and um, center fielder made a great play, which I thought could have been a game. It's an, that's an out. Uh, you know, so you think we only scored four, but, you know, that obviously – that out was a big one, that catch that he made in center field. But McClure gave us an opportunity, and then he left the ball elevated for Whitaker. You know, so you really look at it, and you get one good swing and four runs on it. And uh, it just tells you that uh, it doesn't matter what the score is. You just you just keep plugging away, and 
any team that gives you an opportunity, and McClure did. He gave us a few opportunities to score some runs by by his you know lack of command for a few hitters. Uh, Joe, I think you struck out like 13 times today between the, the two uh, pitchers you faced. Uh, um, what, 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 was, was that uh, due to anything particular in terms of the, the type of pitchers they were or what they were throwing? Oh, no, that's a normal day for us. I think we're leading the country in uh, strikeouts per game. So uh, that's, that's, that's just normal for us. <laughs> Not that I'm really proud of it, but uh, it's obviously an approach that uh, needs to change next year. But when you're bat when you're when you're when you're throwing freshman, 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 sophomore, sophomore up in the in the batting order, and you're playing teams like this, you know, uh, the strikeouts uh, they they climb pretty quickly. When it's six six, and all of a sudden they're you know they're, they're right same same inning there, they're getting the lead back for good there, and um, you know was was that just kind of a, a fear on your part that you know I just don't know if we, 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 we have the pitching and the, the bullpen depth to kind of. Uh, Stay with these guys. You know, were you kind of worried when it was six six that it was not sustainable? Or? Well, no. I mean, we, you know, I, I, I kind of thought that Gerber may have put up a couple more zeros, uh, just but just because of the, the timing that he was affecting on them. And uh, you know, we, then we start debating on when to use Zurak and and when do we bring our closer in? And it, it knowing that he was is going to start tomorrow, but but obviously game one is important. So we were. We were willing to go to Zurich, but I wasn't willing to go do it in a tie baseball game in early. It would have had to have been a two-run lead or so in the sixth or seventh for him to bring, bring him out. So do you think Louisville's second surge was more due to their, their base running and just them being able to hit when they had runners on base? Yeah, we, we, obviously, um, uh, we obviously made too many mistakes uh, to control their running game. Uh, we, weren't, we weren't real quick to the plate. We didn't... Uh, we didn't adjust our deliveries and uh, and their and their running game, which we knew was going to affect us if 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 we let leadoff hitters on and didn't play clean defense. We knew that that running game can can end up hurting us, and, and it really did because then it then you speed up the deliveries and then you hang a change up because you're speeding up a delivery. So that's how that's how the running game affects pitchers. It doesn't just necessarily affect on stolen bases. It affects you know if your ability to locate down in the zone. Snyder, who hit the home run for them, started like one game in two months. Did, did he even show up in your scouting report? Yeah, they all show up in the scouting report. But uh, you know, when you're throwing 82, 83 in a changeup, uh, you still have to execute pitches. It doesn't matter. I mean, if, when he executed pitches against McKay, we got him out. I mean, there's a guy that didn't do any damage to us today, and and we affected his timing and his balance. But uh, you know, it doesn't. You know, guys like Snyder, you know, in the Big South, hitting the three hole. So it doesn't. That those are the guys that, uh, you know, to us that they're all they're all good players. They're all you know they're all going to affect the game. Talk a little bit about Adam. What's it like to watch a kid who's had I think about 14 RBI all year have a night like this in kind a of setting like this? No, yeah. I mean I'm proud of him. I'm happy for him. Uh, he has battled uh, early in the year. I mean he's a. I mean you can probably see from talking to him. He's a you know, he's tightly wound. And uh, and that affected him when his numbers weren't weren't going well. And uh, you know, and exactly what we said: slow down, slow down. And he's been doing it until he got hurt in the tournament with his hamstring. He didn't play the last three games of the conference tournament. Uh, but uh, to get him back in the lineup, we usually eat him off. But I wasn't going to mix the lineup up after the conference tournament. So we felt I felt like put him in the six hole because he does he does grind out some good at bats. Even though his average doesn't show, he does grind out some good at bats. Sense that they're pretty loose, uh, nothing to lose, kind of here. Yeah, I mean, I, I asked him, we want to play on Sunday. That's, that's that's it. We want to play on Sunday. If you start looking at, can you win a regional? You're going to get beat tomorrow. So we want to play until Sunday. We want to get another game underneath our belt. We want to. Uh, the longer we extend the season, uh, for our young kids, the better it is for their experience level and to win a game uh, in a regional. And then we'll worry about Sunday when Sunday comes. And you said Zarek will. Start for you guys tomorrow. There. Yes. Two more questions. Or no more questions. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.